Yo, what is going on, everybody? Before I start out, I just want to say a massive thank you to all of you for the support, for the likes, for the shares. Uh, it has really made a massive difference, particularly in the last month to the amount of reach that I've been able to get out. Uh, and I've been able to help a lot of people. I've had some really uh, nice emails from people saying, thank you for your content. It's really helped me. So brothers, let's keep spreading the word. I uh, really appreciate you. And the people who you spread the word to by way of liking, commenting, sharing, etc., they appreciate it too. So as part of this brotherhood, I just wanted to say thank you to all of you. And also shout out to nice guy from Land of the Losers. Thank you for sponsoring this video. Uh, L Land of the Losers, it, while it sounds a little unappealing on face value, and I thought so too at the beginning, it is a really, really cool tale of simp to successful with women. And uh, yeah, I couldn't put it down. And I'm not a book reader. So if you want to check that out, hit up the description below. I've got a 20% off coupon for you all. Um, so let's get into the video. Now, this, this article is kind of a bit of an extension from something that broke a while back. Now, there's this, uh, it, it's just a circus. It really, really is. There's a guy called Elijah Taylor. He's 19 years old, and he was drafted into the AFL at the age of 19, right? That doesn't happen to too many people. So this guy had a very promising career. He had a huge opportunity in front of him, and he went and absolutely screwed it up royally. Let's get into this. So he's been banned from the AFL. Banned. B-A-N-N-E-D. Banned AFL star Elijah Taylor under investigation over very serious allegations made against him by the teenage girl he snuck into the league's quarantine hub. Now, I'm going to give you a quick look at this teenage girl first because I want you to just get a bit of a feel for who we're dealing with here. Oh, yeah. That's the teenage girl. That's the one we're dealing with. There we go. That's that's the that's the one we're talking about. So, guys, I don't need to tell you that we are seeing some red flags straight away. Now, unfortunately, I didn't do this video yesterday because when I actually went to her Instagram yesterday, it was still unlocked and you could see all of the stuff she was sharing and if if any of you guys are dating anyone who's got a girlfriend that's got any of that stuff on her profile, you need to run a mile, brother, because you are in for a world of hurt down the track. But let's get on to this. So young footy star who snuck his teenage girlfriend into the AFL's hub is now facing an investigation over allegations of domestic violence. Now, as I've always stated and always will state, I am highly opposed to any kind of domestic violence where it is actually domestic violence and not just something that's called domestic violence because it hurts someone's feelings. When there is physical altercations involved, no, just no. Now that we've got that cleared up, he's being investigated by his team, the Sydney Swans and the AFL, after an Instagram post by his now girlfriend, Lakani Pierce, late on Sunday night. Now, if that name, L-E-K-A-H-N-I-I, -I, was not a big enough red flag for you, I have some more for you. So Taylor was already, this guy Taylor, Elijah, was already suspended for the rest of the 2020 season for sneaking Lakani Pierce, who's 18, into his team's Perth hub just last month. So this hub was on strict lockdown for COVID. And I'm going to show you. So this is the Joondalup Resort they were staying at. Right? This is where the players in quarantine were at. She went through a golf course and climbed over two fences to get in there so he could get himself some piping hot peace leave. That's what happened. All right. Um, now, Swans coach John Longmire said the Western Australian raised AFL talent had been specifically reminded about the strict protocols before he traveled to Perth. So he couldn't help himself. Right. He wasn't using self control, which, gentlemen, we all need to use. It's in our best interest to do so. We talked to Elijah specifically before he left and made sure he understood what environment we're going into, Longmire told Fox Sports AFL 360. He still made a very poor choice. He still made a decision to deliberately breach the quarantine and it's unacceptable. And the ramifications are very much suited to what he did. 
It was a decision that put so much at risk. He's only a young player. He's in his first year of AFL footy, but it was still a terrible decision that has big ramifications. Thank you for that super chat, Trifol. I appreciate you, man, uh, with that $5 super chat. And now let's have a look at this. So Taylor was sent home in the aftermath of that scandal when he got caught with his girlfriend in the room and his club was fined $50,000 for breaching quarantine because he couldn't keep his shwing shwang, as my man Sandman calls it, in his pants. Couldn't keep it in his pants. Right? He just had to get some of that piping hot pea sleeve right here just had to break himself off a slice of that. Oh, dude, why did you do it, Elijah? Why did you do it? Now, here's the thing. They mentioned about this allegation that she's made. Now I've got a question for you guys. If you were a chick and you were in a bit of trouble, would you not call the, I mean, look, I understand sometimes you might not be able to call the police if someone else is around, but you might um, text the members of your family saying that you're in trouble and that this is your address and can they please call the police and send them over because you are in danger or you are being attacked by your partner? No, 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 That that's not what happened. Because you see, this individual, Lakani, she decided that it would be a much, much better idea, much better idea to, uh, to go and find something else, another way, another alternative method. So let me share this with you because this just, like this, this honestly made me go, Really? Are you serious right now? Let me just grab this screen up. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. Sydney Swans player Elijah Taylor accused of physically abusing girlfriend Lakani Put, Lakani Pierce. Now, this is the bit. She took to social media on Saturday night to share her story, alleging, alleging, not proving, alleging that Taylor, 19, punched, choked, and kicked her. She said, Elijah Taylor, and, and here's the screenshot from the Instagram post right here. Elijah Taylor is nothing but an abusive dog. He punched into me, booted me so hard in the elbow, I thought it was broken. He also booted me in other places. He choked me so hard my neck now has scars. He smashed my head against a wall and he wouldn't let me out of his room because I tried to go to the police station. Every time I'd try to escape, he'd choke me. Notice how you can't see her neck. She's got her hand in front of her. Now, I'm not saying this didn't happen, but if you were that adamant about making sure that people saw what had happened by taking photos and sharing this stuff on Instagram, you would have your hand away and be like, surely you'd be like this, right? Just like to show. Like if, if that was me and I was trying to show the whole world that he choked me and left marks, I would be wanting to show the marks. If, that, if, if I was her, which I'm not, and I would never want to be her, but if I was. So, you know, I mean, maybe he dumped her over this thing and she wants to get revenge. That's that's right, Dukos. Thank you for that super chat and that comment. That's exactly right. It's exactly right. Now, here's the interesting thing, and this is what the media does. Right? Let, let's have a look at this article here that's being shared. I just want to pick some of the language. The girlfriend of Sydney Swans player Elijah Taylor says girlfriend, not ex-girlfriend, has alleged that the player physically abused her. Now, pedestrian.tv is not saying that the allegations are true or false and is just reporting on the fact that allegations have been made. They haven't been made to any sort of 
or third parties or anything like that whatsoever. Nothing like that. No, 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 no. She just put up an Instagram story saying that he's a bad guy. So I, I, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. It is unclear if Pierce 18 has contacted the relevant authorities regarding the alleged domestic violence, but he is hoping she is safe. Yeah, well, here's hoping Elijah is safe from her because, you know, this is not how you make an allegation of something so serious. You, and unless you want attention. Look, uh, I'm going to cop some hate for this, all right? But I am going to say this now. I'm going to make a call. I'm going to make a prediction. I predict that she's going to let herself garner a following of simps who are giving her sympathy, right? Or, <laughs> I mean, we're going to give her no sympathy. Shout out to Alpha Villains. I love that t-shirt. No sympathy. i uh, seen Young Men's Daily Red Pill wearing that as well. Good shirt. And shout out to you, Young Men's Daily Red Pill. Love your work, brother. <sighs> so all these simps giving her sympathy, following her Instagram, Sliding into her DMs, trying to give her money, trying to hit her up to be a sugar baby. What is going to happen? And, and this is my prediction. I reckon she's going to end up with an OnlyFans in a couple of months. I hope I'm wrong, but I reckon that's what's going to happen. I'm just putting it out there. So in a couple of months, guys, if you want to check back for me and just hit me up and let me know if she's got an OnlyFans or not, that'd be cool. So, of course, the, the Sydney Swans are aware of allegations made on social media regarding first-year player um, Elijah Taylor. Now, back to the theory that potentially she may have made this allegation to get back at him, potentially for breaking up with her. I, I don't know. If, I, I believe they're not together anymore. It says... Um, the allegation comes weeks after the couple made headlines for reportedly breaching the strict quarantine rules, res resulting in Taylor being suspended from the league for the rest of the season and the Swans being slapped with a $50,000 fine. However, the exact timeline of Pierce's allegations or if the two situations are related is currently unclear. Let's get on to a third thing here. Because this is where it gets interesting. New strangulation laws in New South Wales. Yeah, man, that sounded like a, a Caucasian version of the Hodge twins with less enthusiasm just now. Yeah, love those guys. <laughs> so here we go. Strangulation is currently an offense under the Section 37 of the Crimes Act, New South Wales, 1900. However, the current offense requires that the victim be strangled to the point of losing consciousness or until they're rendered incapable of resisting and that the perpetrator is reckless as to rendering the victim unconscious or unable to resist. Okay. By the way, shout out to Delta Dan. Thank you for that super chat, brother. Says, have a beer or two on me, my ginger brother. Lean on the ropes and dodge the swings by these garden tools. Oh, yeah, you know I will. I'm dodging those garden tools like Keanu Reeve with his hand out the side whenever he gives a girl a hug. In an increased focus on domestic violence. The New South Wales government has introduced the Crimes Legislation Amendment Bill 2018, so this was two years ago now, to Parliament to create a new offence of intentionally choking, suffocating, or strangling a person without consent. So even if she asks you to choke, put a little bit of pressure, you know, choke, like get in, do some dominance play, and you don't have evidence that she asked you to consent, that she consented or that asked you to do it, if you don't have evidence of that, solid, hard evidence, and then some, well, you're guilty of this crime, my friend. Um, the offense will be punishable by a maximum term of five years imprisonment, five years in the slammer, five years in jail, five years bending over and picking up the soap while, uh, while big boy stands behind you, ready to whoosh, ram that rod 
up that little sphincter. You know what I mean? That's what you've got to look forward to if you're going to be getting caught with, under this kind of legislation. Shit's dangerous out there, man. You got to be careful. So yeah, Russian bot says uh, erotic asphyxi asphyxiation. That's exactly what it is. That is exactly what it is. Sadly. Because look, chicks love it, man. Like girls ask me to choke them. And I like to live on the edge, so I do it. You know, but I risk this law as well. Yeah. Anyway, um, guys, by the way, if you ever do decide that you're going to go down that path, make sure that you don't um, don't push on the windpipe. Make sure you just firmly grip on the side, but don't grip hard enough to bruise. Don't get caught on camera. And just probably avoid it if you want to stay completely safe. But, you know, like I said, I'm a... Uh, uh, danger is my middle name. Just call me Austin Powers. Now, if you've been charged with a domestic violence offense, contact our criminal law team because it is a criminal offense. It is a felony, as you would call it in the US. You would become a criminal if you got accused of choking a girl. Probably not good for future career, pros career prospects. Anyway, gentlemen, I would love to know what you think of this particular article because I found it just very, very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Um, and if you guys want to go and request access to this too to see if you can... Um, now, you know what? You, you, you can see it on the article. It's got her Instagram tag. I'm not going to go there. I'm not going to give her another click. Um, but yeah, I'm going to see if I can get in there and get some of those pictures so that I can show you the kind of red flags that I was talking about. Guys, I'm out of here. Uh, I'm going to go get some sleep because I haven't had any this morning yet. I went and, man, I'm, I'm just going to share this with you because I can. It's totally unrelated to anything we've talked about. But guys who are riders will understand the feels. So I just took my bike in this morning and I got a fresh chain and fresh front and rear sprockets. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That is a fresh rear sprocket. Oh, oh, hey, hey, we got a last minute super chat from the Jimmy Z double T. Finally catching you live. Love the vids, but keep catching the highlights. Keep up telling the truth and the awesome work. I will do, Jimmy. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate that super chat. And guys, if you also want to donate, feel free to head on over to PayPal dot me forward slash Sydney Migs. Our link is in the description. If you want to check out the sponsor of today's video, which is Land of the Losers, uh, the tale of simp to successful with women, go and check that out in the description below. I've got a 20% off code for you all. Uh, but until next time, guys, I am going to bounce. I appreciate you all. Thank you so much for joining in. Like, share, comment. Keep it respectful because we want to keep this channel up for many years to come. Anyway, men, I'm out of here. Catch you next time. Peace.